Here on Plains Road West, the road conditions are in need of repair. The asphalt has reached its end of its service life, so now we're looking to repave um, from Waterdown Road, along Plains Road to Spring Gardens Road. And then, of course, we're using this as an opportunity to incorporate our active transportation facilities, so on-road and off-road uh, bike paths. On the north side of Plains Road West, there'll be an off-road bike path, whereas on the south side of Plains Road West, there'll be an on-road protected bike path. The difference is because like many construction sites, there are existing conditions that we have to contend with, certain constraints. So on the north side, the protected uh, bike path will be separated by the curb, so it'll be off the road. And on the south side, they'll be separated with um, these flexible bollards to delineate between the cyclists and the vehicles. We are incorporating both new and enhanced transit stops and they'll be designed to accommodate these new uh, cycling infrastructure uh, to eliminate conflict points. The new transit pads will be designed at the same elevation as the landing pads so that they will accommodate users of all abilities including those who depend on wheelchairs. For the first time ever in Burlington, we are implementing protected intersections. And these intersections are really intended to increase the physical distance between our motorists and our cyclists, uh, reduce the likelihood of fast turning vehicles, increase our sight lines, and it also reduces the time and distance that our cyclists are in a possible conflict with vehicles. This project includes low impact design uh, features in the form of a rain garden and this rain garden will feature a variety of different trees and different uh, species of grass and flowers and the whole intention there is that we can uh, use this feature to improve the quality and the conveyance of stormwater before it discharges into our fresh uh, water systems. This is a, a very special project because it represents a significant step that the city is taking to implement the vision of the indoor cycle plan, which um, captures cycle infrastructure that's intended so that all users um, of ages and ability feel that they are more confident, more comfortable and, and safer choosing a, a bike as opposed to a motorized vehicle.